one of the insights it gives us is that um, it is very uh, heterogeneous in its causes. What that means is that um, we shouldn't think of all kids with autism as being uniform and similar to one another, but that we have to take every kid with autism and look at them uh, as unique, uh, that they will tend to have special things that work for them uh, and special defects that are not necessarily shared by other kids with autism. There are probably a hundred or more different ways that a child can get autism and so that the word itself uh, is not a unitary thing but in fact it's many many different conditions and the more we understand about those many many different conditions the more we can um, tailor our treatment to each child. As we recognize that autism is many many different conditions it allows us to then direct our search for the causes of autism informed by that knowledge. In other words we have to understand that we're looking not at one syndrome, but at many, many different little syndromes in order to then develop scientific approaches that allow us to dissect that complexity uh, rather than expecting there to be one big gene or one big cause. And so as we understand that we're, we have to deal with that complexity, then we can say, okay, let's take that information back to the lab. Now let's develop the tools that allow us to take that complexity, piece it out, sort it out, uh, and attack the pieces one at a time rather than trying to solve the whole puzzle all at once.